we move into maximin. Uh, the second one, maximin criteria. And here we're saying that this is a pessimistic um, criterion based upon the conservative approach to assume that the worst possible is going to happen, okay? The worst is going to happen. And using this method, we identify the minimum of the payoffs for every alternative and then select the maximum among them. This will be the alternative that maximizes the minimum outcome or payoff. This uh, will be the alternative that maximizes the minimum outcome or payoff for every alternative. Therefore, the decision maker considers each strategy and locates the minimum pay for each and then selects that alternative which maximizes the minimum payoff. Basically, the maximum of the minimums. Yeah, the decision maker selects the maximum of the minimums. So using our same activity, like the one before, uh, we shall, we shall look for the minimums among these, okay? So this question you get from the slide, it's okay. You get the question from the slide. So I'll go straight to our table here. And what's going to happen is that you are going to look for the minimum for each. Now, starting with alternative X, we see that the minimum is negative 10. That's the loss. So the minimum payoff is negative 10. So if the worst happens on alternative X, you're likely to lose 10,000. Moving to alternative Y, uh, from the look of things, we have negative four on A, 12,000 on B, 18,000 on C, and 2,000 on D. So the minimum, the minimum, the worst, would be how much in the chart? The worst would be how much? Yes, the worst would be negative four. Good. The worst would be negative four. So I bring my negative four here. Sorry about that. I bring my negative four here, 4,000. In the column that I've labeled minimum payoff. Then for Z, we have 14,000 event A, 6,000 event B, zero event C, 8,000 event D. So between you and me, you know the worst would be a zero. Now, negative 10 on X, negative 4,000 on Y, zero on Z. If the worst comes to the worst, what would you consider? You see this situation where you see you've been crying and you're feeling bad, then someone with the worst situation comes and then inside yourself, you say, ah, oh, I'm better off. Yes, I have problems, but they are not as bad as for my neighbor. So this is the situation. We have X, someone is having X, another one is having Y, another one is having Z. Who is in a better position? Yes, they are all in a bad situation, but someone is in a better situation whereby the ones that, that are in the bad situation are admiring this person. So which one is that? That is the Z, perfect. So Z would be the um, maximum of the minimum. I'm actually supposed to indicate, uh, change this one here. It's supposed to be maxi mini. A maxi, forgive me for the mistake there. Maxi mean, because we're saying we need the maximum of the minimum. Maximum of the minimum. So the maximum of the minimum 
is alternative Z. So we draw our conclusion just below here. We shall draw our conclusion. You must do that in the exam. We shall say that the decision maker, the decision maker shall select alternative uh, alternative Z which corresponds with the maxi mean criteria. That is to say, it is the greatest, it is the maximum of the minimum. It is the maximum of the minimum payoffs. All right, another uh, five minutes. We put down this in our books. We go to the last one. 